Hey, fellow stargazers, ever wondered why, with all our tech wizardry, humans haven't set foot on the moon in more than 50 years? I mean, we're sending telescopes to the edge of the universe, landing rovers on Mars, and building reusable rockets that land themselves. And yet the moon, sitting just 238,000 miles away, has been a silent bystander to our cosmic ambitions. So, what gives? Elon Musk loves to poke at this question. For him, and honestly for me too, the moon isn't just a dead rock. It's a test. A reminder of whether we still have that wild, fearless urge to explore. Musk thinks humanity's future lies out there among the stars. And the moon is our first big step. Let's rewind. The last time anybody bounced around in lunar dust was December 1972. Apollo 17. Astronauts Eugene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt spent three days on the surface doing science, grabbing rocks and leaving those iconic boot prints. It was the grand finale of NASA's Apollo program, a golden age fueled by Cold War rivalry and pure, unfiltered ambition. The world watched, breathless. But after that, silence. No one's been back. So why did we stop? Some say the excitement fizzled out. The space race was about beating the Soviets and when we won, the hunger just faded. Others blame the cost or political gridlock. NASA got tangled in bureaucracy and budget cuts. Even Elon Musk has called out the agency for moving at a snail's pace. That's where private companies come in, companies like SpaceX. SpaceX was born from the wild idea of making humanity a multi-planetary species. They've done things people said were impossible. Rockets that land themselves, shuttling astronauts to the International Space Station, you name it. Falcon 9 changed the game. Crew Dragon brought American astronauts home. Now Starship, this gigantic shiny rocket, aims for Mars. But first, the Moon. The Moon's back on the radar. NASA's Artemis program plans to return humans to the lunar surface. Not just for flag planting, but to build real lasting outposts. Artemis wants to send the first woman and the next man to the moon, maybe even this decade. Think lunar habitats, science labs, resource mining, it's about staying, not just visiting. But it's not smooth sailing. Artemis faces delays, funding fights and tech challenges. Meanwhile, China's storming ahead, planning to land Taikonauts on the moon by 2030. They've already snagged lunar samples and explored the far side, stuff nobody else has pulled off. The new space race is heating up fast. And then there's Jared Isaacman, a billionaire pilot, and now NASA's new torchbearer. He led SpaceX's all-civilian Inspiration4 flight and now he's blending private hustle with NASA's legacy. His vision? Moon bases as launch pads for Mars, pushing for sustainability, diversity and bold invention. The real secret sauce? Teamwork. NASA's expertise plus SpaceX's speed and guts could make lunar colonies a reality. It's not just about glory, it's about survival. The moon holds water, vital for life and fuel. Its ancient rocks could reveal the solar system's secrets. And building there teaches us how to live on Mars, or anywhere. This isn't just about national pride. It's about rekindling wonder, inspiring future explorers, and proving that impossible dreams are just waiting for the right moment. The moon's not a forgotten milestone, it's our next great leap. So, when will we go back? Sooner than you think. And this time, we're not just visiting, we're building, thriving, gearing up for even bigger journeys far beyond our pale blue dot. Thanks for tagging along on this trip to the moon and back. If this fired up your imagination, hit like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic adventures. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep exploring, and keep looking up.